good day guys it's promise us here once again okay i'm gonna be showing you guys how i do create mock-ups like this like this is a already made design now then this mock-up i created it i didn't mock it. you see this is my puzzle lab so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i create it and add this shadow effect i still get uh, some insight from it and use your shadows that way okay so let's start I've kind of actually removed everything now. So this is a blank background. Let me go get another color for the background. Okay, let's go with this. Okay, then you get your first background. You get your first background. Then get an extra shape white any color extra shape just add it to the bottom after that you get your preferred fly and place okay then watch then you add shadow to this this, this first this second one that you brought you add a shadow to it let's go to shadow and add shadow to it you add shadow you see then you bring up the shadow by it should be yeah it should be y by offsetting it by y negatively not positively negative offset from y then when you bring it up then the blow reduce increase it increase the blow reduce even if it's up to 25 then when you increase it then you now reduce y now reduce y so you get something okay okay let's use blow reduce of 20 that's what i i, I use okay you reduce let's let's use five for this Okay, so this is five. Okay, so I think this is okay. Then I make I make this guy relative to the middle. So I will get the exact thing I'm looking. Then the the other line at the bit is a PNG. This is the PNG. Look at what the PNG looks like. All these things are different shapes, uh, forms of shadows you can take and use on your design. All these things. This one is for thumb paper. All these things. So it's a compiled PNG. I can go to PNG group. I've forgotten the name. So I might not be helping at from the name. The name aspect. Because I must have forgotten it. Forgotten the name. But it should be shadow and the rest stuff. So you can still go and check to get something similar. Okay. So I press OK. Then bring him to the front is actually in the back so bring him to the front so that we'll see him okay so this is is actually locked let me unlock it so i can add effects on it okay so this is it you increase it you increase it then you reduce the width you increase it by you increase it horizontally or you increase it relatively because when you're increasing it relatively it will be increasing horizontally and vertically so you if you increase it relatively by drawing this drawer here now from here then you can then reduce it vertically like this so i have something okay now so i think this guy is big this guy is big enough it will look it won't look okay so you bring the guy down with the buttons here bring him down then shift this guy a little bit closer then you add your shadow to this image now i add my shadow to this image add shadow i'll still use the same soft shadow i used for the other one then you see how i added it blow reduce 20 offset 5 and the offset uh, y8 so this is how i created you see it's almost the same thing you see there if you feel like this one is not okay you can increase it vertically small so that it will have uh, it will be big enough to look to be visible yeah you move it up a little 
Okay, so this is it. This is how I create it, and you get Marvel doing it. So this is the whole setup. You see, it is non mock up. It's puzzle. It's actually puzzle. So go, go create your own, and don't forget, don't use thick shadows. You use light shadows. You make your design professional. Okay, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I will still keep on dropping awesome videos. I have a lot to give you guys. It's just, are you ready to learn? That's it. Don't worry. You will still see. I will still see you guys at the top because I want everyone to become good like me too. Okay, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.